Okay, so no all and holy probably. We got eight total spells. Um, go ahead and stay at the inn. And we'll head over to one of the bonus dungeons. So much money. <laughs> uh, we can stop by the item shop too. And see if we can get more potions. I don't know if they sell regular potions here. sell them here. Alright. Let's head out. Alright, so the Earth Gift Shrine would be the first one, right? Which, the Earth Gift Shrine is... Oh, yo, we need to go back to the, um, the dwarves, too. Because we have adamantium, we can make that sword. <laughs> Alright, I'll use this to make you the finest sword you'll ever wield. Yeah, I mean, for now. <laughs> In all my years, I've ne'er crafted a fire sword. The one taker is yours. Yay, Excalibur! Another mainstay that's in most of the Final Fantasies. I think we've got three ribbons. I don't think there is a fourth one in the main game. I think there might be another ribbon in the bonus dungeons, but I don't think there's a fourth one in the main game. Um, we could go into Temple of Chaos now, like I said, and like just beat the game, but that's no fun, right? We want to see all the craziness that's in the bonus dungeons. So. Let's get to work on that. I guess we gotta go to the Earth Gift Shrine. So, let's head out. Earth Gift is back towards um the first island that we started on. Right here. Save the game. So this opened up as soon as we beat the Lich. Let's see how strong the monsters are in here. The stink went away. So, uh, Sai uh, took a keek inside. It was limping o'er with gruesome monsters. I'd stay out if I were ye. I'm trying to figure out what he's saying. Alright, so, as you notice, these um, bonus dungeons are kind of weird. It's literally like not a, not a dungeon. Like, suddenly I'm outside, right? There'll be floors of a bonus dungeon that'll just be like a world map like or an outside area or a cave or a building like it's it's just weird it's like you're teleporting around as you go through them and you know it's also i can't go back that's not this guy 
Now these guys are going to be really easy, probably. Um, what map you actually get on the different floors of the dungeon, I believe is also somewhat random. I don't think it's always the same. So... Yeah. Bonus dungeons are interesting. We've got like a mix of random battles and people that are on the map you can like sort of run up and talk to. They're dropping potions and stuff. Like, this is a this is a low level area. I would have done them as I unlocked them, but I feel like that would have just made all the other fiends way too easy too, because like we'll end up gaining levels and good equipment in these dungeons. You can tell from the XP and the amount of money that we're getting that these are like way easier monsters than what we've been fighting recently. They're more, mostly just in our way more than anything. But more than just these random areas with weak monsters, there's also going to be some bosses in here. And some of the bosses in the bonus dungeons are like bosses from other Final Fantasies. Like for instance, the bosses in um, this dungeon, I believe are um, Final Fantasy 3 bosses. So, as we go through this dungeon, if you've played Final Fantasy 3 before, you'll recognize like Ariman, Cerberus, Echidna, like bosses that you fought in um, Final Fantasy 3, they'll show up in this dungeon. When we go to um, Hellfire Chasm, which is the, the next one after this one, there will be bosses from um, Final Fantasy IV in it, which will be like um, Scarmelian, Cagnazzo, Rubicant, um, like the... Oh, is Fiend the right name? What's the name of those guys? Like the, the guys that um, Cecil has to fight on his quest to beat Bolt, Goldez, like the lieutenants, basically are the bosses of the next dungeon. So this one has Final Fantasy 3 bosses, the next one has Final Fantasy 4 bosses. Um, the one after that has, um, like you could guess it, Final Fantasy 5 bosses. So there's Gilgamesh, there's uh, Atmos, Omega, Shinryu. So, like, it's, it's cool. So there's a lot of throwbacks to other Final Fantasies. And then finally, the fourth one has um is is much much longer <laughs> than the other ones because uh, you have to have already defeated Tiamat before you can get there. It's got the strongest enemies in it, and um you'll fight all kinds of different bosses in there. But it's like a uh, Death Gaze and. 
Typhon, Orthros, or Orthros. Anyways, this Earth Gift one's gonna be really, really sh easy. You've never gotten too far into four. Oh, dude, wait till we get to four. You're in for a treat. All Fantasy Four is is really good. Hopefully, we can still check the map. <laughs> Okay. Um, where's our exit? Like, there is no reason to like be a alley in here. We're we're getting crap items and low level XP and stuff from these guys. But anyways, yeah. Um. So this one has Final Fantasy 3 bosses, the next one has Final Fantasy 4 bosses, the one after that has 5, and then the final one has Final Fantasy 6 bosses. So it's just cool that they have like the, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, like, it's not really Easter egg, it's, um, just the ties to the other games, I guess. Um, the other thing is, um, if you actually wanted to get everything, you would have to actually beat these dungeons multiple times. Because you fight your way through... And remember I said they were random, right? Like, so you come into Earth Gift Shrine, and you fight your way down multiple floors, like five floors. And each floor is random each time you come in here. You get to the bottom, and you can't fight all the bosses. You fight the boss that you choose, and you get a really awesome item, right? And then, this, is it this grave what we're looking for? No? Um, and then if you want to fight the other bosses to get the other awesome items you can get, you got to run through the dungeon again. So in order to get, if you want to beat all four bosses and get all four of the rewards, from Earth Gift Shrine, you have to run Earth Gift Shrine four times. So it could be a real time sink completely doing all of the uh, bonus dungeons. Not all the items are created equal though. Like if you beat Echidna, you get an X potion. But if you beat Cerberus, you get Kotetsu, which is like an actual weapon, which seems much, much cooler to me. The Ari Man, you get a Dry Aether. Okay, cool. You beat the Two-Headed Dragon, you get a Bard's Tunic, which is like a unique set of armor, so that seems cool to me too. Alright, so that's the first floor down. Second floor, suddenly we're in the desert. Okay. We have no map either. So the desert... Um... If I remember right, the desert floor is just ran. It's, it's, a, it's mostly just an open area, and it starts you like in a random spot in it. So it's not like you can memorize. Okay, when I get to the desert, go right or something. We're just gonna have to kind of wander around the desert and look for the way down. But um, the the desert map is the same every time. So, if you can find some landmarks in the desert, you can kind of figure out where to go. Like here, we've got a tree, right? Um, what we're looking for is a group of trees. Let's see if we can find that. Because there's a, there's a grouping of three trees that sort of like point you towards where you gotta go. But we have to track those trees down. Or maybe we'll just get lucky and find where we gotta go anyways. But um, this map doesn't actually have like edges to it. It just kind of loops. If we just keep going right, we'll just loop around to the left again and won't even notice. We have to kind of... There's a tree. Alright, so let's try up or down a little bit. 
That might be the same tree we saw last time. And to a certain extent, it's cool to be fighting the Final Fantasy 3, 4, 5, and 6 bosses in Final Fantasy 1. But to another extent, since we're going to be playing the entire franchise, it'd be even cooler to fight them in their actual game. <laughs> you know? Like, we're going to fight them in the months to come. In their natural habitat. So, I'm not really planning on doing the bonus dungeons to their completion. Like... I'm gonna beat the, each of the bonus dungeons, but like, I'm not gonna beat Earth Gift Shine four times. I, I don't think we need to. Um, the items aren't that useful to us, and the bosses aren't hard because they're lower level bosses at this point. So, I'm gonna go through it for the experience and be like, oh man, there's like a forest floor and a desert floor, and we fought one of the bosses. Okay, so here's the three trees. They're pointing down. They're pointing right. Point down. Like, I feel like going through the dungeons multiple times each. Um, it's probably just overkill for us here. Like, we, we don't we don't need the items. We don't need the XP from this one, at least. Am I reading these wrong? Okay, here we go. White Fang obtained. Making progress. Map's bigger than I realized. Like, literally, on some of these dungeons, the floor will be a world map. It might even have a boat that you can use in it. Like, it's kind of trippy. If you think about it. Alright, here's the way down. Alright, floor three. Looks like we're back in, um... A cave similar to the one where we got where we fought the vampire and the lich. This won't be as bad as the last two. We, we, we did the hardest of the two floors with the desert and the forest. The rest of the floors should go pretty quickly. For the most part we don't care overly much about the um, equipment in this dungeon. Just because this is the lower level dungeon, it doesn't have amazing stuff. As we go into the later ones, they'll get better and better stuff. And then the Labyrinth of Time, the one that they added in the Anniversary Edition, which is kind of intended for in-game, like you have to have beaten all four fiends to even go there, has really good stuff. My current plan right now is I'm going to play some more of this tonight. I might even go a little bit after one. But um, next Friday, we are going to beat Final Fantasy 1. And we're going to do as much of the bonus dungeons as we can. And the plan is that come... Let's see, that'll be... What, the 22nd? Come the 29th the plan is to start Final Fantasy 2 on that following Friday. I'm head down here. Dead end. There's another chest. these bigger groups of weak enemies, I should really just be spamming those, um, 
AoE spells. We put the items. And I'm not saying spend MP on them, I'm just saying, like, I can just use items and annihilate them. Okay, floor four. It looks like we are still in the caves. This is a fairly straightforward one. Red Fang. What was Red Fang? Is that a single use item? Or is that a weapon? Single use item. Cast Fear. Alright. And B5. Alright, so at this point on the fifth floor, we've reached the point where there are the four bosses. So we have a choice. Um, there's no random battles in here. We can go into one of these doors. Here, here, or um. Uh, here. There, there's in the four corners basically here, and on the right there's another one. And each one has a boss behind it. Beating one of the bosses gives you a reward, and um then get you out of the dungeon and then you have to go down it again three more times to fight the other three bosses um i'm just gonna pick one at random because i don't really care about the rewards from these dungeons and we'll go ahead and fight it so here we go here's one of the bosses in me are all things great and small extinguished die now warriors of light all right we got two-headed dragon Go ahead and um I mean, no blaze might actually be good. Go ahead and have you use your giant's glove. Have you go ahead and haste him. Have you go ahead and invisera. Basic boss strategy works on every single boss fight in this game. <laughs> Buff up the monk or the fighter and have him do it all the work himself while everyone else supports him. Basically. Effort cast Yulaga, although it's overkill. Yeah, this guy really even hurts. I'm gonna say we're over leveled for this dungeon. We could have done this dungeon directly after getting the first fiend done. So we just did like 2,000 hit points to him. Um, if he gets tempered before the next hit, we'll probably kill him. Alright, so this is probably gonna have one shot, I mean, two, two shot the boss here. As soon as the monk goes. 2200. Oh, oh, he lived through it. He won't live through that, though. 2600. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get for beating the two headed dragon. Bard's tunic. So the Bard's Tunic... Take a look at it. The Light Loose Fitting Tunic. Uh, it doesn't tell me much. I'm not sure what the point of that one is. What is the Bard's Tunic for? <laughs> one second. I'm curious now. It gives you 20 defense and resistance to silence. Okay. 
Moving on. <laughs> you can return to the surface. Yes. So, each time you'd fight a boss, it teleports you here, and then you leave. So you have to actually run that dungeon four times to get all four bosses. The items in that one aren't that exciting. I'm not going to go through it again. So let's move on to Hellfire Chasm. Hellfire Chasm has twice as many floors as the last one. This is a, now a ten floor dungeon. Um, Hellfire Chasm is going to be... Let's see. Here, right? It was, it was on the way to one of the... to this, right? I think. Actually, wait, 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 no, 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 that's the water one. How far chasm is over there with where Bahamut is. It's on one of the islands, I think. Don't remember which one it is. I don't think it's this one. But here's some chests we never opened. We're gonna max out our money in this game. I never searched all these caves. Dry ether. Yeah, we could have, we could have gone all the way through that other dungeon again to get a dry ether. We could have just done that. So Hellfire Chasm, like I said, is twice as long as um, Earth Gift Shrine. It's got ten floors instead of five. And here's floor one. Once again, the floors are random. Um, this one seems to be an overworld. In which we're walking. The enemies are still going to be pretty weak, although slightly stronger than the last one. But keeping in mind that you fight the second shrine, the second um, being almost directly after the first, so it's not going to be much of a difference. All right, we get the boat here. There's three different possible world map level of floors. Um, 